Sam, where are we this week? We are in Big White Shell Provincial Park. White Shell Provincial Park. Oh. Big White Shell Lake. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's the lake. Guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Was that intro good? Yeah. I'll let you know it's really hot outside and Jay's just wearing her toothpaste. Yeah. I got a bad hair day and I lost my hat. Anyways, today we have a very special guest. This man is, I think, the reason I fish. He, he got me into fishing. For many, many years, we would go on family trips to this very resort, Big White Shell Lodge. Grandpa, is this Big White Shell Lodge or Big White Shell Resort? The Big White Shell Lake Resort. Big White Shell Lake Resort. How many years have you been coming here, Grandpa? I would say about 35. 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> why, do, why, do you like, why do you like this resort? Because of the water and the ease of not getting lost and yeah you're right on the beach and we're right on the beach all the cabins are at beach have their own little beach yeah and especially for kids growing up and uh, other than that we like the owners here they are always friendly and accommodating and uh, that is a big big assets for our family so yeah all right, well, Grandpa's gonna be on the show today. He, as I said, he is probably the reason that I fish and fish so much. And Big White Shell is kind of where I got that love for fishing. We got my dad, we got my mom. And today we're actually checking out. This was our last day. My parents stayed here for a week. Sam and I got here on Saturday. We actually rigged up my new boat, which we'll be fishing out of today. So oh, yeah. hopefully we catch the first fish in the new Lumacraft. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour and breakdown of the boat, but that'll be in a different video. But for now, we are emptying out of this beautiful cabin. Mother did a very good job of cleaning it. And we're heading on to Big White. We're gonna to try to catch some pike, try to catch some walleyes. Guess how many people are gonna watch this, Grandpa? I don't know. Oh, about uh, 900,000. Maybe not 900,000. <laughs> well, hey, think big. Think big, yes. Yeah. I have so many memories fishing off the shore here, fishing off this dock, fishing on Grandpa's boat. And today I gotta to take him out. You guys are eager to go? Yeah, mother, just waiting for mother. Are yeah. you good to go, Gramp? I'm ready to go. You gotta punch the camera. Hey, ready to go. <laughs> huh. Are you getting the shot, Grandpa? This isn't a sightseeing tour, Grandpa. Would you please be quiet? They're distracting the pelicans. You get the action shot? Oh yeah. I think. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to wait till everyone's baited up and then we'll drop down at the same time to see who can catch the first fish on this boat. All right, everybody drop your lines in 3, 2, 1. So, we're fishing a rock pile by the mouth of a spawning type bay. I am going to cast the jig and hop it back to the boat. The others are probably going to vertically jig. Grandpa's the only one I'll let catch the first fish in this boat. The others don't deserve it. Uh, oh. Sam had one. Oh. Okay, you gotta hook the next one on. I need a new leech. No. Come on, man. No. That was your chance. That way time is up. Oh, yuck. Okay, you're good. Thank you. On. Sam's got a fish. Oh. First fish in the new boat. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm, I'm hooked. Big walleye. Oh, lift, lift. Oh. That's the biggest oh of the week. Biggest walleye of the week? Yeah. All right, Sam, hold it up. Yes. That is a very good start. Do you have any uh, anything to say? No, it was pretty quick, actually. <laughs> All right. What do you, how long do you think? Ah, I got 20, 21 incher. Yes. The boat has been christened. Yeah. Nice walleye for Sam. That's perfect. And that's a pretty good way to start. All right, Sam, you wanna show the people what we're using? Ugh. What is oh, that? Leech. Jig and a leech? Make me sick. What's, what was your technique? Found the bottom, bobbed it two times. Bobbed it? He, yeah, bobbed it. What do you call it? Jigging it? Oh, oh, oh. oh mom's on. I'm on, oh yeah. Get the net, Sam, get the oh, net. Oh yeah. It's not all about hurry, you. Hurry, he's right here, he's a big one, hurry. Take your time. Oh, that's a big walleye. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get it, get it, get it. Trying to bring it up. I'm trying, I'm trying. 
Oh, nice one! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> These are big. Wow. Good work, Sam. Thank oh, you. Watch your run. Yeah. Why on that side of the boat? All right. Another. Oh dear. Awesome. Oh dear. <laughs> big white shell walleye right there. Grandpa, what do you have to say? I have to Are say, good deal. Are you jealous? I say it's a beauty. <laughs> and the fish doesn't look bad either. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> All right, throw back. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay, there he goes. He's good. <laughs> So far, the Alumacraft is pretty dang fishy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I found this spot. Over there, see that rock reef with a pylon on it? So I caught fish here like, how many years ago were we here with Grandpa Siemens? Ooh, 10. 10 years ago, I fished this rock pile with my other grandpa, Grandpa Siemens, and I remember catching some good sized walleyes on it. I have not been back with my family since then. So I was like, let's go fish some memories because we tried some other spots earlier in the day, didn't work. I did a loop around this rock pile using side imaging, and what side imaging does is it shoots out to the side of your boat. A lot of, uh, a lot of brands have side imaging technology now, and basically what it does is it images to the left, to the right. So I was looking 80 feet to the left of the boat. I did a loop around this rock pile, and I looked for where it changed from kind of a uh, flat, muddy bottom into a bouldery bottom. So right where that transition was, we used the Minn Kota, and we spot locked Sorry. it. And now, yeah, we're fishing in eight feet of water, so not deep for these spring walleyes, but... Uh, well, this is a pretty good landmark. Yeah. Figure, figure those rocks over there, and right in line with it. We got GPS, Grandpa, we don't need landmarks. <laughs> no, forget it, just give it back. <laughs> you can see on the graph here, there's some boulders off to the left, so that's 75 feet, so about 40 feet off to the left, we have some boulders, and we're just all smooth to the right, so we're right on the edge of it. All right, we are moving a little deeper. We caught those walleyes in 10 feet of water. We're gonna try now and probably like closer to 20. Do a little more driving around, see if I can mark them. And it is 1.30 in the afternoon. We're probably gonna fish till four, maybe. And call it a trip. Overcast or not? Uh, I think colors like the bottom of the totem pole as far as things that make a difference. So like, on. Sam is a fish, Sam is a fish. What do we got? Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice oh, walleye. Nice really nice walleye. Oh, Come on, Sam. Oh, you are on fire. <laughs> on fire. Another big one. Wow. All right, show me. Nice. Hold a little more horizontal. <laughs> do you know what direction horizontal is? Yeah, I'm trying. There, there you go. Nice. What do you have yeah, to say no, for yourself? Don't let her go yet. I want to see if I can get a picture of this. Grandpa's going to snag a quick picture. Bye bye. You're on fire. Two. Two big ones. Nice. You need to watch Sam a little, close, a little closer there, Grandpa. Straight down, that's, Jigan. That's that's my granddaughter. <laughs> Jay's on. Up. Grandpa, take the net. Oh! You're the net man. Ooh, another nice walleye. Yeah! All right, there we have a little walleye. We're gonna measure this one. This might be one that can be brought home and put into Grandpa's freezer. He is going in the live well. And he's gonna be delicious. You stopped singing as soon as the camera came out. Is that going to attract them? <laughs> Is that the walleye song? <laughs> Won't that put them to sleep? All right, a little update for you guys. Um, we were switching spots. I was driving on plane and always looking at the graph. I noticed it go from a mud bottom, one little hard spot, and then back to mud. So that could be something to just draw fish in the area, especially in this big, boring mud flat. So 
We, uh, we drove over it, dropped a waypoint, and then went back on top and spot locked right on the top of the rock. And never fished this spot before, but sometimes those subtle spots are actually better than the big obvious ones. You got something now? Yeah, it looks like it. Grandpa's got one. All right, Grandpa, this is it. Oh. Millions, 900,000 people oh. are watching. Ooh. How does it feel? Oh, Ooh, that's an eater. Sam, Sam, Ooh. get in there. Net it, Ooh. net it. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you have to uh, say for yourself, Grandpa? I say I'm too humble to say. <laughs> Spit out the leech. Show me. Make him look big. There you go. Hmm? You're gonna eat that one. Sure, I'm gonna eat it. What was your key to success, Grandpa? I'm heavy, heavy on the leeches. <laughs> heavy on the leeches? Yeah. Here we have the last leech. We bought two dozen this morning. I'll hook you up, Grandpa. And this is what we've been using. This is a little flasher jig. This is what Grandpa's been using. I've been using a little jig without a blade, but. With walleye jigs, you just want enough weight to feel bottom. It's kind of the important part. I've heard you can hook leeches both ways, either the sucker end or the tail end. I'm looking at the sucker end, and uh, that's what's been working. We are gonna use our last couple of leeches, and I think we're heading to Nighthawk Cafe for dinner in West Hawk, so. Nice Sam, we got a fish. I got a nice walleye. Oh, big walleye. Could you get him, please? Thank you. Wow. John, oh, open the bale. Oh, oh, the fish. Fooey. That oh. is walleye poop right there. Oh, on my fingers? No, it's okay. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> golden shield walleye. Another one going to the live well. 17 incher. Nice. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Do you want to give it a kiss? No. Oh. <laughs> Call it the walleye hotel. Thank you. Grandpa, what are your thoughts on uh, your fishing guide today? It's an ideal fishing guide. And if I had anywhere to go fish, I would hire this Jay Siemens. <laughs> and he would be the one. Thank you. Thank you for the firm recommendation. <laughs> there goes Grandpa. Guys, that man right there is the reason I fish, the reason I'm so addicted to fishing. We did so many yearly trips to here to Big White Shell. It was something that I would look forward to all year. And uh, it's kind of cool that I can take him out now with my wife, the rest of my family. So many good memories here. Here's a couple pictures just from over the years because you might find these humorous. But anyways, uh, that's a wrap. It's special every time I get a fish with my grandpa. He's done a lot of fishing. If I'm fishing when I'm 86, I will be very, very happy. But I think that's it. Is there anything else to add, Sam? Good day. No Sam Cam, no. Give the people what they want. Well, the trip is not complete without a stop at Nighthawk Cafe. Awesome food, drink, ice cream place on the way back. Sam and I are heading back to Kenora. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun fishing with my fam and my grandpa. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. End the video, grandpa. Goodbye. 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 I love you.